Welcome to Maths with Bob. Today we're looking at the third example of multiplication of complex numbers. Uh, in this example, I've just created a quadratic which has uh, complex conjugate roots, actually. And uh, we just want to see what happens when we actually multiply this out. Now, um, we're uh, going to generalize this uh, shortly, but basically, in example two, you might remember z1 times z2 was actually uh, 74, which is really what, 5 squared plus 7 squared. Okay, so we're going to try and generalize this expression. So um, let's actually just have a quick look. Um, first of all, let's um, I'll just bring up the transparency of these pieces. Uh, let's try one. Okay, here they come. All right, now, so what actually happens is obviously x times x is uh, x squared. Then we get an x times, uh, you can see here, uh, z2 minus an x times a z1 and then a z1, z2, positive. Uh, and from the previous example, we multiplied that out and we had 74. But you can see what's happened is that the um, plus and minus 7xi's have cancelled each other out and just left us with a quadratic with real coefficients. Now, if we want to try and generalize this, um, you'll see here some of the examples and some of the textbooks do generalize this. And you can see here that really if we... Um, if, uh, say, z1 is a minus bi and z2 is a plus bi, like we've got here, then the, um, the quadratic formed would be, in fact, x squared minus 2 times the real part, so it's minus 2ax, and then it's plus the, uh, well, it's actually a squared plus b squared, you can see here. Okay, so it's going to be plus 5 squared plus 7 squared on the end here. Okay. Well, thank you for watching and bye for now.